When flooding occurs, it's devastating. And dealing with its effects can feel overwhelming. But with the right know-how, you can start the process of getting things back to normal quickly and safely. When dealing with mold due to flooding, USG recommends some general best practices. Since mold spores can begin to germinate within 48 hours of wetting, dry the building as quickly as you can. Open and drain all cavities, including inside the walls, doors, closets, and cabinets. Use fans and dehumidifiers to circulate dry air and draw moisture from the damp materials. To avoid the risk of electrical shock, don't step into flooded areas without first checking to make sure the power is out. If you are not able to dry the building within 48 hours, the risk of mold increases. While some mold might be easy to see or smell, mold also hides under or behind items such as carpet, cushions, or walls. So steps must be taken to address all of these areas. Removing moldy materials can be difficult and dangerous. Ideally, you'll want to seek the help of qualified professionals. Always wear protective equipment. This includes an N95 respirator, gloves, goggles, rubber boots, and disposable clothes. Remember, mold is not the only threat that you are protecting yourself against, as floodwater may contain sewage or industrial overflow with bacteria or toxic materials. After drying, assess the water damage. If the system is beyond repair, then complete tear out and replacement is needed. For less severe damage, remove the wallboard to two feet above the water line where the wallboard was in direct contact with the flood water. For older buildings built before 1980, be cautious about materials that may contain asbestos or could have lead paint. If in doubt, call an expert for assistance. This eliminates the possibility that any flood contaminants remain in the wallboard. Also, tear out all affected porous materials such as carpeting and wet insulation. Any items that cannot be thoroughly cleaned and dried should be thrown away. In the event of mold that does not require complete replacement, clean hard, moldy surfaces such as wood with water and detergent, and then dry those surfaces right away. Check safety labels and never mix products containing bleach with products containing ammonia or other incompatible ingredients. This will produce toxic fumes and can be harmful or in extreme cases even fatal. Check all product labels before using. Once you finish these steps, inspect the building to ensure a thorough cleanup. And remember to trust your nose as well as your eyes. Following these steps will help ensure that mold does not become a risk to you or the building occupants.